are we going? Well, Perry, we're going to go to Bill Cosby's house. Bill Cosby? I thought he was in jail. Well, he uh, he got out of jail the other day, Perry, so uh, I was thinking we could drive by his house and maybe he's cutting his lawn or, or manicuring his bushes. It would be a nice day to drive by and see if we could see Bill Cosby doing lawn work. What do you think? You mean we could go see a celebrity? You really... Yeah, let's go. Hurry up. Well, Perry, before before we go, I got to stop at a store and get something to drink. Bullshit. Let's go. We got to go see his Cosby. If It, it looks like it's going to rain. So uh, he ain't going to be doing yard work that long today. So let's go. All right, Perry. I really am thirsty, though. All right, Perry. Here we are. This is the Bill Cosby estate. It's a... Uh... Very exciting. He's got a lot of trees. Yeah, he does. That's how he hides from the paparazzi. Oh, there's a car in the driveway, Perry. Maybe that means he's out cutting the lawn today. You see him? You see him anywhere cutting the lawn? Let's see. Well, Perry, I don't think Bill Cosby is cutting his lawn today. You know, I was just thinking about it. Isn't he, like, 85 years old? I think so, Perry. Maybe 84 years old. Um, isn't he also, like, blind? Yeah, Perry, I think uh, he is blind. I don't know how the hell that happened. He just, <laughs> you ever just go blind one day? Well, that's what happened to Bill Cosby. You know, I was thinking about it. What the hell's he cutting his lawn for anyway? He's blind, he's rich, he gets away with any crime he commits. No need to cut the grass there, Bill. Just in case you're wondering, this is what the guy who lives across the street from Bill Cosby, this is what he's got going on on his lawn. I'm sure Cause loves that. See what that sign says? Private property. Do not stand around in this area. We, who knows, maybe he is cutting the grass. Look at all those patches where somebody missed. That looks like something an old blind guy would do. Lifestyles of the rich and famous. Look, Perry. Those are Bill Cosby's trash cans. Wow. Perry, I'm so thirsty. And now here we are, stuck in the middle of nowhere next to Bill Cosby's house. And there's no stores around here. I really need a drink. I think I saw a bottle of water next to those trash cans. You saw a bottle of water in Bill Cosby's trash can and you think I should drink that? Yeah, what's wrong? He got out of jail, it should be fine. All right, let me see if I can find that bottle of water you're talking about. Okay, let's go see his trash cans. Oh yeah, Perry, I do see that bottle of water next to Bill Cosby's trash cans. Let me get that. Well, Perry, here's the bottle of water I got from Bill Cosby's trash can. Um, I, I, I don't, I honestly, I don't think I'm going to be drinking it. I'll drink it? What the hell's wrong with you? He's out of prison. All right, Perry, if you want to drink Bill Cosby's water from his trash can, have at it. I'm not doing it. Give it to me, I'll drink it. That was good. He must use a really rich filtering system. I don't know what you were scared about, pussy. Let's go back to the car. Thanks for the water, Mr. Cosby. Well, Perry, that's it. That was our trip to Bill Cosby's house. We may have not seen him cut the grass, but he, uh, you know, we got to see his trash cans, and that was Perry. Feeling a little tired, Cappy. Can we uh, get to the car? What's wrong, Perry? Perry looks like he's getting a little tired. Let me let me get him back to the car. Well, Perry, I think you learned a very valuable lesson. Don't ever drink water from somebody's trash, especially if that somebody is Bill Cosby. <laughs>